Today, I'm spending over 100,000 Robux to get every solo leveling character in Anime Vanguards, and then evolve and upgrade them to be the best versions possible. Instantly, we're hit by a choice of three stars. So, give me Luffy. And now that we've got Luffy, he means absolutely nothing because it's time to get spending. I don't know much about this game. As you can see, I'm completely fresh. That was literally the first set of gems I've got in this game. One summon is 50, 10 to 500 gems. All right, so Jinwu is 50% and Chahayin is 20.5%. That's doable. How long do we have? We have eight minutes. Okay, instantly we're going to buy Ultra Lucky and then we'll also grab Super Lucky just in case. And now let's get ourselves 25,000 gems. <laughs> this better be worth it. Come on. First ever temple. We got Sasuke. Oh, Joseph. Goku. Ooh, legendary Goy. I love the, like, the non-copyright name. Ooh, Grimwow and Genitsu. Okay, not bad. A couple legendaries in our first, but we're looking for the mythics. In fact, we literally need two of the mythics on the banner right now. Come on. I actually saw something as well when I was clicking on info. Wait, secrets and shinies unlock at level 10. We have to get to level 10 first. Like, surely I'm just, I'm trolling, no? Oh, hold on. It's time to cook. We got Sprint Wagon. Oh, you get gems for getting more characters. Oh, that's cool. Okay, this game, I'm liking how they do stuff. I also really like how Sung Jin Woo isn't like the Jin Woo from Wish, like a certain other game. Like we're getting the actual characters. I mean, if I actually get them. Crazy that I can't even get shinies till level 10 though. All right, I just need one of the characters, just one. We got Dark Goku. That's kind of cool. It ain't no Sung Jin Woo though. Crazy that I haven't even tried the game yet and yet I've spent so much Robux. Bro, are my luck boosts doing anything? The banner changes in four minutes. Ooh, Itachi. Not a character we're looking for, but still cool to get. Another Itachi. Bro, mythicals are not easy to get. Ooh, legendary Agatha. But again, not a character we're looking for. This is bad. We've literally only got two minutes left on this banner. Why did I wait so long? Desperate times call for desperate measures. Skip summon animation. Boom. Nothing good. Still nothing good. Bro, I'm flying through my Robux. This is crazy. Why is that Luffy not colored? I don't know. Bro was like yellow. He's like a Minecraft sand block. Two legendaries. Come on, come on, come on. Surely not. Oh, yes! Sung Jin Woo. Let's go! All right, I could try and get char, but there's no point right now. So, now that we've done all of that, equip, we can get started. I'm literally only using Sung Jin Woo, and I guess, of course, the other solo leveling character, Sprint Wagon. He works in the background. I, I just need a money character. If this is like every other tower defense game. All right, now that we've got a character I can actually use, because I wanted this challenge to be like only solo leveling characters, we can head to Namek. Why does every single tower defense game start you off in Dragon Ball? Can they not be original? We've made it. to default Namek start location. I need speed wagon down like instantly because Jinwoo is expensive. What? Unit passive. Entrepreneur. Earns yen equal to his displayed yen number every wave. Ooh. Oh, they are getting through. This is not ideal. Oh, bro, we are not making enough money. Can wave four start? Hello? Look at Jinwoo's range on placement. No wonder he's a mythic. That's good. Like here. There we go. Oh, that was sick. 400 damage on placement. Okay. Unit passive. Damage plus 0.1% per takedown. Up to 40 Wait, is that not just insanely OP? Can I place multiple of him? I guess I can, right? Because he's not like, like special. I haven't like added any traits to him yet. All right, we're gonna get another Jinwoo over here. And this one's gonna cook. Oh, that's so cold. Upgrade. Next upgrade, he gets Fatal Strike. And does 780 damage. We're already hitting like a truck. All right, we need more speed wagons, though. He needs to fund Sung Jin Woo Enterprises. Manage units? No way. Oh, that's so nice. All right, you're letting them get through, Jin Woo. What are you doing? All right, Fatal Strike. Okay. Like, this is Sung Drip Woo. <laughs> So cool. And the attacks like sound sick as well. Now they are kind of getting through. He's doing 900 damage. Oh, we're chilling. Like these mobs, they only have 100. There is a lot of them though, actually. A little bit worrying. Dragon Fear is his next skill. How do you see like his passive? Where do I see that taking effect? All right, I'm sure it probably tells me somewhere and I'm just stupid. Tiny bit more money and then we get Dragon Fear. Is it just 15 waves like normal? I hope so. Because there's so many mobs. Wait, why is that guy? Why is he like special? Is this one the protagonist? Dragon Fear. I don't know what that does, but let's see. Do it, Jinwoo. That's just the same move. Just copy pasted it and called it a day. All right, my speed wagons are making money. Sorry, sprint wagon. Now, this is only with D, C, and D like stats as well. When we get him to whatever the max is, we're going to be cooking. All right, final wave. Who's the boss? I'm ready for whatever you throw at me, game. I'm ready. Do your worst. Is the boss going to spawn? But they're actually getting through. Vegeta. I'm the real thing. The almighty Prince Vegeta. Oh, he might be the real thing. Wait, hold on. Uh, No, it's strongest. There we go. Have Jin Woo just destroy the boss real quick. Wait, this game's actually hard. I'm actually surprised at the challenge. Sell my speed wagons. And then we upgrade this Jinwoo. And now we win. Hopefully. There's no way they're getting past. I spent good Robux for this guy. 
Hey, there we go. First world completed. We got a Senzu bean. It seems there's a couple things we can claim. You can get this, get that. Release bundle? Sure, why not? I'm sure it'll help me get some more characters. Let's also get VIP and the premium pass because we're gonna need all this stuff to make sure we can level all these characters to like just the complete max. Shiny hunter. We'll get that as well, even though I'm not level 10 yet. In fact, I'm not even level two. Now then, I can feed Jinwoo the Senzu beans. Never thought I'd hear myself saying that to make him level three. And I guess that increases his damage and like everything. Wait, traits, can we do that now? It might not be worth right now, but we can still give it a go. See if we get something good. What are we looking for? What's the best? Monarch. No way they've got Monarch. That's actually perfect. It's literally perfect. All right, we're getting Monarch. Don't even care. Oh, you can speed run. Let's go. Oh, and I'm out. Yeah, well, joke's on you, game. I'm gonna go poor. So really, who's the loser? Give myself 200 trait crystals real quick. And now we speed run. Would it be smart to get Scholar, which is a 10%, and then I can level him up faster, and then I make him a Monarch? Surely that's like a 500 IQ play. In fact, that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm doing. Give me Scholar. There we go. Okay, nice. No way. Chai is the main banner unit. Oh, we need we need his wife. Not enough inventory space. Oh, sorry. I'm suffering from success right now. Can I just buy storage? Oh, I can. Nice. All right, we're going to get some extra storage. Okay, we're going to just sell like a bunch of this. Sell some of these. I don't know if there's trading in this game, but honestly, I don't care. Nice. Okay, right. We're a bit richer now and we have space. Come on, give me Cha. I don't think I'm going to have enough gems to actually guarantee her, but it's fine because I'm sure she'll be back on the banner in like no time. And also it gives me time to get to level 10 so I can get shinies. But I have seen that there is one. Are you serious? I got another Jinwoo. I didn't even want another Jinwoo. What's his chance? I got the 20%. Are you serious? What am I meant to do with another Jinwoo? It's pointless. And I'm out of gems. Okay, we don't need Cha then for now. Who needs her anyway? If we come to collection, there's one character here, right here, Igris. He's a secret, and I have no idea how to get him yet, which is kind of a problem. Time chamber. What is ascensions? To ascend, one must be willing to sacrifice. Offer what you hold dear and be reborn in a greater power. Ascension. That's too much yap. I don't care. Wait. Okay, I lied. Getting that extra Sung Jin Woo was huge. I need shadow traces. Okay, we need raids. How do I get in a raid? If I can get in a raid, I can make my Jin Woo like one star. Why is it not open? Let me in. Right. I'm confused. Let's just continue with the story. Make some progress with the story and then see if we unlock raids naturally. Since it seems it's not like in, it's not showing in my areas tab, which means I, d I just don't have it yet, right? Ooh, more gems. Oh, I got a lot of gems actually. Cha, I need you to become Cha in my inventory. <laughs> That was so cringe. Oh, wait, we got, v wait, I, I keep getting the 20%. We got Vegeta. I'm suffering from success. Like actually, a couple legendaries, don't really care. All right, all my gems are gone. Time to actually do the story mode now. Wait, this game's actually hard. Like at least only with Sung Jin Woo, this game is hard. I'm glad I didn't make him Monarch instantly because I would not be able to do this. I need more of the solo leveling characters. New enemy. Overshield enemies have an additional layer of health. That is not good info to be hearing right now. I've got my factories just churning out money right now. He just really doesn't attack fast enough. I I might have to do like my trait rerolls first just so I can get off DCD because it just feels so bad. Not quite sure how much longer we're going to be able to like survive here. A huge threat is approaching. All right, do show me this ginormous, humongous threat then. Who is it? Okay, but yeah, like these guys are getting way too far. I need another character. As soon as this is done, I'm buying more gems and we're getting char. It's Doria. Oh no. Whatever are we going to do? How much damage do we do? In fact, I can almost one-shot him. If I get 10k, hold on, it's final wave. Boom. Oh, you're lucky you have double health bars. But you know what? We sell that Jinwu as well. We place another one here. I'm just five steps ahead. And there we go. Second world complete. I got myself a bit more Robux, just in case we for some reason don't get her. But I think 25k should be more than enough. In fact, this spin right here. I'm in this one. Never mind. Okay, bro. I'm gonna go to pity. Come on. Just give me the unit, please. This is literally only the first one as well. So I'm gonna need multiple to like fully evolve them. Oh my God, I'm going all the way to pity. No way. Wait, am I guaranteed Cha. All right, next spin. In fact, we're going to do one at a time. One, two, three, four. Then this one here, this one is guaranteed. Come on. Eh? No, this one here is guaranteed. No! Another Jinwoo. Wait, do they all start DCD? No, they don't. I just got copy paste. Oh, this one has B rank. All right, well, I guess we go again. How am I going to get three Jinwoos before a single chat? Come on, game. Just give me one. Just one. Oh, wait, we got her. That was like so early. DBC. Don't mind if I do. Okay, the team is complete for now because again, I don't know how I get Igris yet. Oh, she's got a cool aura, actually. There's so many stages you have to go through on this. Oh, she's cheaper than Jinwoo by like only a hundred. So I don't know if that's going to make an actual difference, but she might also be cheaper to upgrade which will definitely help. Okay, yeah, definitely does help. We can instantly place her and she's a line unit? Her passive. Crit rate 15% when attacking a- Wait, that's insane. Having just default increased crit is nuts. 
Okay, her attack animation is sick as well. Her next skill is called Phantom Dance. Obviously, she's not going to get like her final, final move, which I assume evolving them will get. All right, now that that's in, we can summon Jinwu as well. Summon a safety Jinwu next to her there. Phantom Dance. It becomes a triangle. An acute angle. Oh, that was cool. All right, her next skill is Sword of Light. Ooh. Oh, that was cold. 900 damage. And she's like got the chance to crit as well. Do you have any other skills? Nope, that's it. That's her final skill. And it looks sick. We got another huge threat approaching. Oh no, whatever do we do? Oh, wait, the boss is actually getting through. Wait, this is not okie dokie. Uh, guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's, he got cooked in like one hit. Not even stressing. Transformed. Oh, that's something new. Oh, that's actually not good. Oh, wait, no, we're vibing. Unless he transforms again. Well, three done. Apparently, these enemies are like able to stun or something, but realistically, it doesn't matter because we've just nuked them. And there we go. Next world complete. Act five complete. And there's act six. Okay, next up, we're in just a completely different world. We're in Naruto, which looks just as simple, really. I feel like the base story is going to be the easy stuff. It's going to be the grinding challenges that's going to be the hardest part. And it seems like getting to level 10 is also going to be the hardest part. This stage seems pretty easy so far. I've got like a setup on every corner. Oh, oh okay. 5.6k HP. Dodora should be like work. Oh, big crit. She stuns the entire map? For how long? If it's for like a couple seconds, this is free. Oh, that was light work. And we got some ramen. And there we go. That's act two. We're against Itachi boss. Why is it red? Oh, he stunned everyone. Oh, this might be cooked. I think I've like maybe only just got enough units for this. He's just kind of like walking through right now. These guys all have shields. Oh, he stunned everyone again. Oh, nice. We beat the boss before the minions. And that's act three. This might be cooked. They've got so many shields. It's insane. I think this char is going to clutch up. Okay, right. I think I just win easily. Actually, wait, this guy's got health. Why is the story so difficult? I just want to get through and then I can do the challenges and grind my awakenings and stuff. Okay, 8k HP on top of that shield. Right, I think we're only just chilling. Oh... That was stressful. That was so stressful. Give me my ramen. And there we go. I think I'm done with Naruto. Finally. This takes so long. It's such a grind. Now, I want to test something. Am I able to do these yet? Can I do this? Oh, I can. Okay, now that I've done that stage, we can actually start challenges. Which, honestly, I should probably start farming now. It'll save me time down the road, I hope. Even though I really don't want to do it. Okay, stage three, double dungeon. I was born for this point. Oh, this is sick. I'm a little bit worried that, like, this is actually going to be the final boss. There's, like, a tiny portal here. I think bro's just going to stand up. System has determined. Huh? Did he just eye laser my- Okay, they're actually about to break through. Wait, this stage is cool. More unique than like any other tower defense game I've seen. That's just rude. Is that going to do that every turn? If it's doing that every turn, I'm actually cooked. Okay, I don't think it's every turn. I think we're fine. Okay, we're chilling. The big statue ain't spawning. It's just a random like mace statue guy who shouldn't be much of a problem because he's only got a shield and that's all he's got going for him. There we go. Triple crit. Oh, this is so free. I think the solo leveling stage is the final stage of the entire game for now. So once I do this, we're chilling. Then the real grind will start. A huge threat is approaching. How huge are we talking? Okay, where's the threat? I ain't seen no threat. We're chilling. Oh, no way. We got to break the statues. Oh, this is not ideal. Okay, Jimu over there, please. There's one broken. Oh, he's getting through. And he stuns as well. Come on, come on, come on. All right, that's another one down. Cha, can you beat this guy already? There we go. All right, now that those are broken, we can attack the boss. Jinwoo's hitting for 2k. Like, we're doing big damage. This boss stage is insane. Okay. Nice, he's low. Hit his ankles, hit his ankles. <laughs> That's a sick. That's probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in a tower defense game. Ooh, 53% stat potential. I'll re-roll it just to make him like better for now and then see if we get anything good. B-A-D. It's bad. All right, we're gonna have to keep grinding, get to 5k and then like roll again, I guess. All right, the, the problem is now though is I think if I wanna be able to defeat some of the challenges because they're actually tough, I'm gonna need to get a better trait. So let's see, come on. I'll take any of these for now, but I'll eventually try and get Monarch later. Let's just speed run. The Robux is flying away right now. I like it. you can just spam click it though. Oh, I'm getting nothing. Please. Please give me something. Yo, anything. Oh my God. Oh my God. I got robbed. All right, let's buy some more. A hundred more, surely. Any of the 0.5% or belows, please. Okay, that's fine. Dead eye. 30% crit chance, 50% crit damage. We take that. All right, now we do challenges. And I think we just grind these every hour until we can get raids. Essence stone challenge. I don't know what that means, but I guess we'll do one anyway. Oh, mythic chance. I'm sure that's probably useful. Honestly, I might even need to bring in a character not from solo leveling just because of how expensive the solo leveling characters are to place. Oh, bro. This is so cooked. All right, here we go. It's gonna be intense, but I should be able to handle this, especially with our new crit chance. Oh, he's got a cool effect around him now, actually. Oh, that's sick. Oh, 
These are so difficult. We're actually being cooked. This is like impossible. All right, I gotta sell that Jinwu. Place another one here. I get stunned after every hit. What is this? Okay, we need this Jinwu to do his last hit. Now we sell. And now I'm poor. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we even gonna beat the boss? We keep getting stunned, man. Okay, we place here. Come on, come on. Beat the boss. Beat the boss. The boss needs to die. Another cha. Come on, please. This Jinwu needs to be sold. I've got no money. Please! Okay, another Jinwu. Yes! We've done it, I think. Bro, that was so difficult. I better get good rewards for this. Bring me my money. Pink essence stone, blue, red, green. I, I guess I'll probably be useful. So I've been doing a little bit of off-camera grinding and, so, and a couple crazy things have happened. So not only do I have 110 of these crystals to like level up my characters, but within five rolls to get a good trait on this Kizaru, I got Monarch, which is like 0.1%, which is what I want to get on Sung Jin Woo. And before I do anything, I want to like fully just feed all of these instantly to level 45. That's huge. Now I think as well, I should have five. 5k kills on Jin Woo again. Yeah, 100% potential. I've got 10k. So we're going to change his stats from bad to triple A. Okay. And now we just need to... Okay, getting 10,000 kills was such a waste because it doesn't save them. Are you kidding? And Cha, triple A. Those are both like decent, but I think we could do better. At least on Jin Woo, we could definitely do better. I suppose I'm just going to get back to grinding and see if we can get anything better on Jin Woo because I'm happy with triple A, but we could definitely probably get S. I, th I think... Is there S? Maybe? All right. It's been another few hours of just non-stop AFK grinding to see if S rank stats exist. I don't think they do. I refuse to believe it. Boom. That's crazy. We just got triple A again. Now, one thing I do want to do because we're going to take on some of the harder content in the game is we're going to improve chat. We want, I don't know what I want actually. Maybe Monarch. Maybe we just get everything with Monarch. Ooh, solar. 10% damage, 20% RNG. Oh, range. Hmm. Maybe Deadeye is just the best for this character because it increases her, like her passive is all about critting. So surely that's just like the best, right? Unless I'm stupid. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This was a mistake. I should have just kept solar. All right. Time to spend more Robux. 500 trait rerolls. Surely I get something decent. I might just take like any of these ones. I might not go for a specific one on Char because I don't know if she's actually like good. What's that? Oh, Deadeye. Yes. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't know if that's good. All right. And now we get Monarch on Jin Woo. Nothing else matters. We just want Monarch. This could take a while. So I'm just going to spam click. We're speed running poverty. Bro, the Robux is flying away. This is crazy. What's that? No, we got the same thing again. Monarch, Monarch. I can't believe it took me five rolls to get it on my um, Kizaru and I didn't even want it. What's that, bro? I'm gonna lose my mind. Show me Deadeye one more time, game. Show it to me. I dare you. I dare you. What's that? Even worse. Oh my God, I'm gonna use all my trait crystals, aren't I? What's that? But bro, solar again? No! Come on, Monarch, 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 Monarch. Please! No! I'm clicking so fast now, I don't even care. I literally have no more Robux left. Come on. Come on. Please! Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop giving me Deadeye! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro! I have 22 left! All right, we're gonna save those for Igris. Now, to get Igris, I thought it was the raids. It's actually not the raids. Although we haven't, like, evolved our units yet, let's just try and get Igris first, because that's the hard part. There's this stuff called Legend Stages, and we have to do these double dungeon Legend Stages. I think they're supposed to be kind of tough. I'll be the judge of that. With my Monarch Jinwu. All right, let's see what these Legend Stages are all about. 127 HP. Still kind of weak. Is it only goblins? If so, this is gonna be light work. We got a couple Monarchs on... Ooh, Lycans and a Hobgoblin. This just seems the same as a regular stage. What's different? All right, Monarch Jinwu. Uh, let's place him here because we can only place one. He's hitting for 5k on placement. Oh, bro, I've cooked. This kind of stuff was tough before. It's light work now. All right, and now here comes the eye lasers. I also want to see what my um, dead eye Cha can do because I got her the bonus crit, right? So she should just crit like an absolute machine. Place her down. Seems like she's got more range or something. 50% crit rate and her passive. So she's critting 70% of the time. And I just failed the crit there. Of course, of course, of course I fail a 70%. Free rate plus 15% when attacking the boss. So that it goes up to 85. I think that actually is the best passive for her, unless I'm like stupid, which is very possible. Max level, he's hitting for 25k. Oh my God, that's so busted. Damn, that looks sick. What about Cha? What can we make her hit for? She's only hitting 1k crits. So that's kind of mid. Does this get better? I don't know. Is her damage like broken? And there we go. She's maxed out. All right, what's the final boss for the legend stage then? All right, the big boy's still there. This is just going to be free. Axe statue. I think we just nuked it. Where'd it go? <laughs> that was so easy. Crystal, green. Oh, you get essence stones and a broken sword. No idea what that's used for. What is the broken sword used for? Oh my, wait, it's for Char's evolution. Wait, it's time to cook. Does that mean it's for her ascension as well? Yep, we need three of those and we need... Oh, I don't have any spares. Oh, and she's not on the banner. Okay, I guess we'll farm a bunch of these things then. Legend stage. I'm just gonna be living in legend stages for now then. Which also makes me believe that the next legend stage is for Jinwoo. It is shadow traces. So what's the last one? Is the last one Igris? I think I remember people saying that. Let's test the 
theory. Any orb thingies? Shadow traces. There we go. I don't know how many I got. Not just one. Oh my. Oh, that's going to be so long. The question is, though, do we get shadow traces on the final one? Ooh. Okay, so yeah, Igris is a 0.7% chance to get. Oh, I'm going to have to start grinding that like crazy. I think what I do first, though, is we work on getting materials so we can upgrade and evolve our characters. So let's start with chat. <sighs> so one super boring, tedious grind later. I think it's time I can evolve Cha. Maybe. Nope, not even close. I need blue essence stones and purple ones, but we've got more than enough broken swords. First of all, I don't know how I get those other colors fast, but I think we can ascend her at least. Yep, ascend. Boom. Can I send her again? I need another Cha in and it costs seven, bro. Okay, what about Jinwu? Yep, not even close because I've only got one of those. Ooh, time to get nothing again. Huh? Okay, so like there is an S rank, but apparently there's a Z, a Z rank. Hold on. Can I do it on Jinwu as well? Nope, he's not close enough yet. That's crazy though. We got Z-A-S. I'm guessing Z is then like the best. Okay. She's even more built different now. It's taken a while, but I've got everything I need now. Okay, but we need six more yellow essence stones and three more pink. And I've just discovered this thing here, which I think just allows me to just make them. Boom. Six. Oh, this is so good. Oh, bro, that saves so much time. It's crazy. Sung Jin Wu, evolve. Oh, why did he actually evolve like a Pokemon? What? All right, we got Sung Jin Woo Monarch. He's technically Sung Jin Woo Monarch squared because we've got the Monarch trait on him as well. He's got new passives. Necromancer. Killing enemies adds them to your shadow army. Using a rise summons 15 shadows and five shadow knights. King of the shadows. Each time a shadow defeats an enemy, it increases your damage even for... Wait, this guy is insane. And it seems like he's got a passive for having Igris in the party as well. So we definitely have to try and get Igris. Now, what about Chat? We need eight more blue and quite a, and seven more purple. Do I have the facilities? Can I get eight more blue? Only just. Wait, but do I have enough greens now? I think I'm out of greens. Oh, I need 30 greens. I guess I can start getting those while I'm grinding for Igris because that's my next thing. Ah, oh, but now it's time for the actual hard part. We need to grind green stuff. All right, now it's time to start the double dungeon disaster. Not sure how easy or difficult this will be, but we got a 0.7% chance of getting what we need and it also gives us greens. So like grinding, this is going to be perfect. Well, my new gym is hitting like a truck. So we're already on wave 10. But I wonder what's like special about this one because it's the final one of the act. So like there must be something crazy. Also, does Jinwoo get a new skill? Oh, it is a new skill. Arise. The statues, they're, they're alive. All right, cool. We got new mechanics or like the same old mechanics. All right, getting this Arise skill should give me my other passives. King of the Shadows and then Arise. Bro, he's doing like 50k. Oh, it doesn't change his base like hit though. That's kind of cringe. Arise. Oh, oh, bro, they look so cold. You can summon lichens and goblins as well. Wait, why do they have like no HP? Spear Knight with 45k. But those are OP. And they'll increase my damage even further. He, he goes beyond upgrade 10. Never mind hitting like a truck. He hits like a freight train. Bro, look at that damage. Thou shall worship God. Thou shall praise God. No, I don't think I will. Boom, cha. Boom, boom. All right, now we win. Hopefully. Can these chas like break the thing already? Arise, part two. <laughs> Axe Knights, Wolfmen. Oh, yeah. God statue, you're cooked. And there we go. Simple as that. Igris? Igris? Oh, I imagine. I thought I, <laughs> I thought I got it from that thing. Well, it's literally the next morning. I've been grinding fully AFK overnight just because 0.7% chance is so tough. I've got no idea whether I actually got it. We're level, um, level 30, so we've got an extra slot, which is huge. Please have Igris. Please have Igris. Yes, we got one. That's so lucky. Add him to the team. And that means we've got the base of every single solo leveling character in the game. Now, conveniently as well, chat is on the banner. And I need a few extras just to, like, get her to, like, multiple stars. So if I could get those, that'd be huge. Come on, I've only got 4,000 gems. We're poor out here. I'm struggling. Really? No char? And she's the main... Okay, we don't need her like that anyway. All right, now that we've got Igris, though, what we do need to do is see if we can get better Sung Jin Woo stats because I've definitely got, like, too many kills now. Yeah, 13,000 roll. Okay, that's an S. That's huge. And now we need to go into Evolve. And then I should be able to get char Blade Dancer form, which gives her Light of the End and a new pack. What does that mean? Light of the End? Ooh. All right, now what? Pristine Hunter. Oh, and then we got Dance, Dance, Dance. 100% <laughs> chance to dodge attacks. Inflicts an extra instance of damage after performing a dodge. Wait, that's so huge. We definitely need to go try that out. But let's feed Igris. Level 49 instantly. That's so, that's so sick. Igris costs 2,000 to place down. That is one pricey unit. All right, let's place down our Jinwu just because of how, like, free he makes this. And now we win. Daily challenge complete. Let's just hope we get the reward we're looking for. Place down a Char as well so we can see what, like, that thing said. Because she got like a new move or something. Oh, we can also place Igris. Okay, he's like a line to begin with. All right, you can stand next to Sun Jin Woo. 
Oh, a slash? Not bad. Light of the end. Okay, new move. Bro, the angle has become an obtuse angle. <laughs> Bro, look at this. Oh, so it's just like one clean strike. Oh, that's cool. And the fact you can place five of her is nuts. Oh, Igris, what is, what's his second skill? Commander's Slash. Ooh, it's crazy. These challenges that were like impossible for me before are almost easy mode now. Oh, and this boss can stun. And Char's new passive stops her from being stunned. Yeah, she just keeps attacking. She doesn't even care. <laughs> Come on, give me a rainbow. 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 Please. I didn't get one. Oh, no, I did. Yes. Oh, that's going to save me so much time. Now, here comes the hard bit. We need to get Monarch on Igris as well. So I'm going to need to buy a lot more gems because there's no way I'm getting it in those 40. All right, 300. Is that going to be enough? I highly doubt it. Please give it early. Give me early. Oh, we getting nothing. Oh, this is bad. I've already spent 100 and I got nothing. Solar. Don't want it. I've only got 30 left. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going poor. Oh, I'm actually going poor. Okay, we're cooked. All right, well, if I spend all this Robux here, then I'll spend well over 100,000. Just give it to me. 1,000 Robux for 10 rerolls is criminal. Like, who decided on this? I'll pay those prices because I know I'm going to get Monarch. Easily, in fact. Uh, a game? Please. Please. Solar, no. If it goes below 100 and I don't get Monarch, I'll just take whatever I get. I don't have a choice. Solar, dead eye, like literally back to back. Come on, Monarch, Monarch, Monarch. Give it to me. Come on, please. Oh, no. All right, just give me anything. I don't even care about Monarch anymore. Monarch's cringe. Wait, wait, wait. Please, 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 please. Anything, 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 please. Oh, my God. It's cooked. Ah, I guess I spend more Robux. This might be the first ever spending a million Robux in Anime Vanguard's video. Despite how much I don't want to do this. Let's just buy 100 for now because I'm going to get something crazy. Deadeye. Nah, we can do better. Ethereal. 20% damage. Minus 20% SPA. You know what? We got that within like 12, though. So, Monarch, here we come. It's Hikari time. It's Hikari time. It's Ethereal again. Monarch! No, bro. What was that look? I said Hikari time and then I just cooked. Okay, right. What we need to do now is we need to actually just do some more AFK grinding just so we can like get better stats. And I don't know what the best way to do that is. Like maybe infinite mode? What is this guy? Enemy index. Oh, free gems. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I guess we'll just keep clearing the double dungeon. Now, I'm not going to pay attention to what Igris does for now just because I want to evolve him first and then see what he does. But like Monarch Igris already, base damage 4.5. I mean, it's half of Jinwoo, but he's evolved with triple A. All right, I've AFK grinded for another couple of hours. Hopefully, I have enough green essence stones now. Oh, yeah, three. I think I sh surely have enough to evolve Igris. Surely. Let's see if that's actually the case. We need one red essence stone, and then we can turn him into a shadow version. So cool. Igris Elite Knight. Arise. <laughs> Bro, he looks so sick. That secret is so cool. But the thing that's not cool about him is that he's got BCC stats. So we're going to change that. 77%. Eh, we run that. AAD. And then we change that to a B. Okay, that's not bad. I'll keep that. I'll, I'll take that. What about Jinwoo? Can I do one? Nope, not even close. He is ASA for good now. All right, let's see what Igris is made of. It's taken me an entire weekend of grinding to even get to this point. All right, let's place down Jinwoo. And then we'll place down Igris right next to him, as he should be. The GOAT. 8.9k on placement. 8.4. Wait, he does more? Ain't gonna complain about that. Okay, now I gotta farm some money and then we'll get them to a max upgrade and see what they like. Because I think their passives work together. But we've already seen what Jinwoo's capable of. But let's try and get him to max. There we go. He's got a rise. Bro, it's expensive to level these guys up. Okay, King of the Shadows. Each time a shadow defeats an enemy, up to 25%, units in range that include the name Igros will also receive the damage increase. So Igros is also gonna get 25% damage buff when I arise. He just gets the buff for existing. Jinwoo is now maxed 50k damage and it's only going to get stronger. And now Igris, his passive... Oh, he's already got them like by default. Plus 30% damage and immune to stun. Damage and range increased by 20% for 70 seconds after a shadow enters his range. How fast can I use shadow? Wait. Arise! So when they enter his range, his damage... Yeah, it's increased. Oh, bro, that's so sick. And then wait, when they defeat an enemy, it's going to increase his damage even more. All right, Igris, I hope you're ready to get juiced up. All right, let's see it. Shadow Fall Slam, new move. Bro, he one-shot the boss. And he hasn't even got the buffs yet from the mobs. They're just dying before my shadow soldiers can get there. Oh, here we go. Look at it. It's just increasing. Is he maxed already? Wait, hold on. I can't tell if he's maxed. This is the craziest combination of, like, units I've ever seen in one of these games. They just, like, combo perfectly together. It makes sense. No, I can arise again as well. So, Igris's buff is permanent. As long as you remember to click arise, it's just permanent. It's time to see. Come on, walk into his range. 
Jinwoo's not even letting them get close. It's just all goblins. <laughs> They're not even going to be able to get close. Oh, yeah, these goblins ain't getting close. They're just trapped on that corner. Can we get some other mobs? Like, that? <laughs> I can't even see what Igris does. I know. Jinwoo, you're gone for a second. Let's see it, Igris. Once this shadow army dies... It, it, oh my god. Okay, that's easily the coolest move in this entire game. And it's not even close. We're arising again. So Igris hits for a lot of damage. Up to 100k. Jinwoo's only hitting for... Oh, he's down to 50k, but like... Igris... We killed the boss from over here. I'm so OP now. I literally... I haven't even used Cha either. If I placed her there, I could do so many waves. In fact, I've got five of her to place if I want to. Well, it's pretty safe to say that I'm quite OP now. And all that it cost was all of my Robux.